the ministers of Satan are men and women who always promote the afterlife. But why don't they dare speak of immortality and of eternal life, which is to live forever here on earth? Why do they always mention death to console people? It says in 1 Corinthians 15, 54, When this corruptible is clothed with incorruption, and this mortal is clothed with immortality, then the word that is written will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. The word when introduces a sentence that indicates a condition or situation in the future. But why can't they interpret the words in that verse and instead automatically think that it can only happen when a person dies? Because they are fraudulent and in reality do not know the mystery of God that was hidden until now in the appearance of Christ's death. When we read the phrase, when this corruptible is clothed with incorruption and this mortal is clothed with immortality, then the word that is written will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. I, being Christ, and knowing that God only brings life and not death to mortals, I can clearly see that the mystery of this verse is that one can overcome physical death only when you do everything necessary to produce the absorption of the corruption and death that is in this corrupt and mortal body. And if eternal life, as the promise of God, is often mentioned in the Bible, then why haven't any of these religious people who supposedly believe in God and preach as if they were ministers sent by God been able to live without corruption and as immortals? Because they don't know how to acquire incorruption and immortality of their bodies, and it is because God has not spoken to them, asking them to preach anything. They do not preach about this because they are afraid and do not believe in God at all, nor in God's promises. They are disbelievers. On the exterior, they present that they are in favor of God and of the people, but in their interior, they are convinced that God does not exist, and in reality, they do not care for the life of others. If they were truly sent by God, above everything, they would have God's best interest in mind, and they would care about the life of others, and they would tell the truth. They would speak about how to acquire eternal life that God gives to mortal men. But since they are not guided by the true God, they don't have the right to represent God as if they knew what happens after death or how to acquire the promises of God. They should be honest with themselves and with others. How can you represent God who is life and speak of death as if it were God who takes people when they die? If it were God who takes people, believe me, we would take all the murderers and pedophiles and abusers and not children or good people. If you think that God is the one who takes people, then you are a minister of Satan because you are saying that God is unjust and kills innocent and good people and leaves bad people alive. Men are the ones who bring death upon themselves because evil and death surrounds them in their mind and in their environment. Let's look at what it says in 2 Corinthians 11:13. For such men are false apostles, deceitful men, who disguise themselves as apostles of Christ, as if they knew Christ when none of them knew the historic Christ, nor know the present Christ, and yet they dare to deceive others. And it is no surprise, because even Satan himself disguises as an angel of light. Therefore, it is not surprising if his servants also disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. Do not believe them with their empty words, they cannot hide or disguise themselves because their actions will expose them.